In this video, I'm going to show you how to add mods to the Lunar client. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up the Lunar client, then go to the left menu and select over here where it says versions. Then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select a mod pack for you to install. Make sure that the option that says mod packs is actually selected. So for this video, we're going to be working with Hoplite for Lunar client. So all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on it. Then you want to go ahead and press on install and play. So at the moment, it is now going to begin downloading that mod pack. So first off, we need to install a mod pack on Lunar client clients before we can actually begin adding our very own custom mods that we want. So all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and wait for it to load in. All right, guys. So once you load into Lunar Client, feel free to go ahead and close out of it. Then it's going to bring you back to the Lunar Client launcher. So you want to go ahead and select over here where it says versions. Then this time you want to go ahead and press on this cog setting over here that says mod pack settings. Then it is going to open up something that looks like this. So yeah, and then from here, you guys can go ahead and actually disable whichever mods you don't want to use. So let's say, for example, you only wanted to use lithium then you can go ahead and disable all of these other mods over here and only have lithium added however if you want a different mod that is not on this list then what you need to do is you need to go ahead and press on this option over here that says open mods folder then it is going to open up a bunch of folders that look like this and all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and drag and drop the mod of your choice so let's say for example you wanted the just enough items mod first of all you need to make sure that it is actually compatible with the minecraft version so notice over here we do have the fabric icon and over here where it says selected versions 1.21 is actually selected so that means we need to download mods for fabric 1.21 so this is what we have over here. So again, I just dragged in the just enough items um, mod inside of the folder. And then once you're done with that, you can go ahead and launch the game again. And then you should have access to your brand new mod. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.